Hey everyone, I'm Ryan from Confluent, back again to fill you in on our Q4 2022 launch for Confluent Cloud. Each quarter, we bring you the latest and greatest on Confluent Cloud, showing you how we continue to build features that make our offering cloud native, complete, and everywhere. This release is all about delivering features that make streaming data pipelines easier to build and govern for our users. So without any further delay, let's jump into things. You all know that, among other things, Apache Kafka can modernize traditional ETL pipelines and take them from the old world of batch to the new world of streaming. It also enables decentralized multi-subscriber data streams through its simple and pretty elegant PubSub framework. However, folks can still face major challenges when trying to efficiently build streaming data pipelines on OSS Kafka. That might be chalked up to a shortage of specialized Kafka talent, which slows down dev cycles, or maybe the time-consuming process of writing boilerplate code for everything you do. Or it could be a lack of a unified view or any kind of GUI to observe, edit, and manage things throughout the pipeline lifecycle. To all those who are struggling with these challenges today, I've got two words for you. Stream Designer. We're excited to introduce this rich visual interface that lets you rapidly build, test, and deploy streaming data pipelines. Developers can use Stream Designer to build pipelines in just minutes on Confluent Cloud. We get them there by leveraging familiar tools, including our fully managed connector portfolio, KSQL DB for stream processing, and good old Kafka topics. But now we're delivering that in an end-to-end -end unified view and visual interface. After you spin up a pipeline with Stream Designer, it's really easy to update it as your requirements evolve, and these pipes are also exported as SQL for CI, CD, or for reuse across teams. This will help organizations get moving much faster with real-time initiatives by making it quicker and easier than ever to deploy streaming pipelines, whether you're a seasoned Kafka developer or if you're relatively new to it. That'll give folks more time to move up the stack and focus on differentiating their business. Next up in our launch is an exciting update to stream governance, the industry's first governance suite for data in motion. So what's the excitement about? In this launch, we are bringing forward Stream Governance Advanced, which expands on our existing suite of governance features and solves even more of the problems businesses encounter when scaling streaming workloads in production. Within Stream Governance Advanced, we've made Schema Registry even more resilient, scalable, and globally available. Mission-critical production workloads can be run with confidence atop an increased three and a half nines of uptime SLA. Quality controls can be enforced across each and every unique pipeline and workload with an increased schema limit of 20,000 per environment. And with 28 global regions supported, teams have more flexibility to run schema registry directly alongside their Kafka clusters and maintain strict compliance requirements. Beyond that, within Stream Catalog, we're giving teams the ability to build more contextual, detail-rich catalogs of their data streams to improve search and discovery across their organizations. Alongside the previously available tagging of objects, business metadata gives individual users the ability to add custom, open-form details that will be critical to enabling effective self-service access to data. For example, upon creating a new topic, users can now equip it with high-value details such as which team owns the topic, how it's being used, who to contact with questions about the data, or any other details necessary, like maybe who to blame for any errors. Kidding. Stream Governance Advanced also introduces GraphQL API support, the same API the Stream Catalog UI is built on. Available alongside an existing REST API option, the GraphQL API gives users a simple declarative method to get the exact data they need, enabling a better understanding of data relationships on the platform. But you better believe the updates to stream governance don't stop with stream quality and stream catalog. Within Stream Lineage, which helps you uncover insights and troubleshoot with interactive end-to-end -end maps of data streams, we're introducing point-in-time lineage, giving users the power to look into the past and see data stream evolutions happening over a 24-hour period or within any one-hour window over a seven-day range to understand where, when, and how data streams have changed over time. But don't worry. That into the past vision is limited to Confluent, not embarrassing tweets or Slack messages you've since deleted. Moving towards our everywhere pillar, we are excited to announce the GA of Private Service Connect for Google Cloud, which now completes our support of preferred private network options across all three major CSPs, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Private Service Connectivity, or PSC, allows for one-way secure connection access from your VPC to Confluent Cloud with an added protection against data exfiltration. The benefits of using Private Service Connect include simplified and highly secure private networking setup, minimizing the complexity of connecting virtual networks in the public cloud. 
reduce networking burden for IT teams who no longer have to coordinate on IP address challenges, helping keep the details about a customer's network private. And finally, improve developer productivity through the integration of Private Service Connect and the Confluent Terraform provider. As for the rest of the bundle, in our cloud native pillar, we're bringing forward higher throughput and efficient serverless clusters. We've been improved fan out ratios for basic and standard clusters so that you can scale workloads faster. We've also increased the partition limit to 4,096, which is 40x higher than other Kafka services, enabling you to scale your workloads quickly and efficiently. Let's do a quick recap of everything before we finish here. Whether it's through our new visual interface stream designer, or through the new stream governance features, or the new private networking options, this launch is all about making sure streaming data pipelines are simple, secure, and governed. For a deeper dive into everything that's new within this launch, check out our upcoming Q4 launch demo webinar. And if you're not already familiar with Confluent Cloud's offering, I encourage you to begin your free trial of Confluent Cloud today and start putting your data in motion. Again, I'm Ryan, and this has been your Q4 2022 Confluent Cloud quarterly launch.